Arias Walski, you DP the first two episodes of Raised by Wolves, which was produced by your longtime collaborator, Ridley Scott. Uh, but this is your first TV show together. So how did that compare to your film collaborations? It wasn't much of a difference. The only fun about it was that uh, we could design the whole show and just give it to other talented people to finish. So it's <laughs> kind of gratifying, you know, because you don't have to do this to the end. So, so basically, we, I mean, Ridley had all sorts of great ideas, and we just sat down and we had a pretty good prep considering television requirements. And uh, so we designed the show, and then just I was so fortunate to find uh, Eric Messerschmidt and 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 Ross Emery to finish the show. You know, yeah. and so. Eric became. You know, he just finished David Fincher's film, which is oh, yeah, Mank. Yeah. really stunning. And he's going to be one of the top cinematographers. He probably is already, doesn't know it yet. So what were your um, early discussions with Ridley like over what, what did he envision for Kepler 22B? Well, it was, you know, we've done so much science and he, he's done even more than I did before. <laughs> so it was just trying to be different. You know, it's really hard for, especially for him, so the first radical idea he had, he said, listen, I'm just so tired of spaceships. So the spaceship, they're going to come on. It's going to look like my like my uh, Remington eraser, uh, razor. So he pulled out the razor. He looked at the shape of it. We made a model. We said, that's a little too fat. Make it a little bit longer. No windows, no lights, nothing. Just silver, perfectly slick object. And that was a spaceship. <laughs> so that was his first idea. And then... The whole thing was to juxtapose future with once they set once they settled on the planet. It's kind of very basic. It's almost like uh, like uh, early settlers, you know, like you know, like early uh, historically very very primitive and stuff. So that was kind of interesting. You know, the the clothes is made out of hemp. Other the plants they're growing, everything is just based on the one one plant they're growing. It's their diet. It's their it's the clothes and everything. So, so that's how we designed the whole thing. It's on, on one hand you have this super high tech dome when the, when when she's giving birth to, to to all the children, and then and then you have this very low country kind of primitive nature oriented uh, environment. We were very lucky because we were, we were shooting in South Africa in in this huge, huge ranch. I, I, I was told it was the biggest ranch in South Africa and it was in the foot of the mountains. And Cape Town is between two oceans, between Atlantic and, and Pacific. And, and there's a huge difference in temperature of water. So you have constantly, constantly uh, fog rolling over the mountains. We were on the Atlantic side and mountains were, I mean, the other side was Indian Ocean. So you have this phenomenon every morning you have those rolling clouds. So it just every morning we came, we put the camera basically. <laughs> uh, um, and it's not single frame, but you know, single frame and we just rolled. And that became like a major motif of the of the whole of the whole show. Mm -hmm. That went through the whole thing. But that just uh, that also just justifies changing changes of weather and makes it everything more dramatic and kind of yeah. ominous and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, well, when I was watching it, I was thinking of The Martian, which he also did, uh, because that was very bright and, and red, and this is the complete opposite. Like, it's, it's very barren and, and bleak and monochrome and desaturated. So how did you guys go about achieving that aesthetic? Well, it was, yeah, it was purposely was very desaturated. I mean, the way we work is like, you know, really throw some ideas. I go do my own stuff, show him some tests, and... Based on that, we kind of just say, okay, let's do it that way, yeah. It's it's my, I think, seventh movie with him, so it's uh, there's a bit of a shorthand there. But uh, we, we always try to do something differently, you know. So obviously, since Martian was very red and saturated, this one, we decided to go very monochromatic. Mm -hmm. Almost looks like a period movie, like this stuff has happened a long time ago, yeah. Yeah, it, it felt like almost uh, black and white. Was that what you were... No. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. yeah. Listen, everyone loves black and white. We just you know, if we could, we could sh we'd shoot everything black and white. <laughs> well, there are uh, some 
some pops of color here and there, um, you know, like with like the fires. And, um, yeah, I so mean, of course, you play fire, fires much warmer. Also, there was this stylist, stylistic thing that we had to figure out, okay, what happens when night comes in? So yeah. we played nights, all the nights are kind of day for night. It never gets completely, completely. Yeah, very, it's like a few, yeah. And, uh, that was just our stylistic idea. Let's say there's several moons and it's just bright, you know, which was also getting away from all the night stuff we've done, you know, forever, you know, as rains and, you know. Uh, uh, so we were just trying to be different. And at night inside, the question is, okay, what kind of lights do they use? They use fire and they have those high tech kind of globes that we just figured out you know that maybe they're being charged by solar energy and they just work at night mm -hmm. and they kind of dim they work like candles so that just make it made it very atmospheric all those interior sets things uh, what was it like shooting day for night especially in south africa uh it's you know it's super hot and super bright so actually you do have to use i don't like to use a lot of lights but you do have to use a lot of lights to 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 put into their faces so when you can take the, all the ambience down so it was a bit of a challenge i've never i always try to shoot everything with minimal lighting as minimal as possible so it's probably more lights that, that i've ever used <laughs> even though it doesn't show it, it is like i mean it, it you you were shooting were you shooting on like a sand like in because it's very like a deserty it's you know it's we basically found this place and uh, we landscaped it all those plants it's like a very kind of unique kind of uh, i think it's eucalyptus but it's eucalyptus family but it's just this it's kind of it's like trees so we basically uh, really found them in namibia because we were scouting Namibia, I think we were scout, scouting Namibia for Martian originally. So we had a lot of references and he found this plant. So we brought them and we planted them knowing that this whole show is going to last. It was worth doing it. So we created this forest of those, of those plants. And then we, then also we landscaped those spirals, you know, spirals, you know, when they're planting the, the, the small plants and the, so this was all basically like art, di art direction with, with landscape people, yeah. which was Chris, Chris Seeger's the production designer was behind it. Yeah. And of course Ridley's drawings and stuff, you know, he's very specific when he draws stuff. So, mm -hmm. so that was quite fortunate. And then, then you have this, you know, very kind of clay adobe with a bit of wood structure that they built to raise the kids. And next to it, there's this high tech orange dome when, a lot of other stuff happens when the birth happens and then a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. uh, well, like you mentioned before, you handed this off to two other DPs. Uh, so what was that collaboration like, uh, meeting with them and telling them like when you guys uh, I remember Ross Emery came over before so I could just basically show him footage and dailies and rushes how we're doing stuff. We were, we had a very good DIT I mean, I brought my DIT, Ryan Ewan from Los Angeles, but there was a very talented gentleman out there in South Africa. So he spent like last couple, maybe last week with us watching what we're doing. Uh, so he had a good sense how we are grading to the saturation and so forth. And then, uh, and then Eric came a little bit later, but I worked with Eric before he did a bit of a second unit for me on the movie uh, Soldado. It was called Sicario too, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and I knew his work with David because I worked with David a long time ago. So I kind of knew David's style and how demanding he is visually. So I, I knew I was in good hands. You know? <laughs> so. Um, and Eric was very sweet because when he started shooting, we moved on to other things. He used to send me stills, which was very kind of, you know, I felt very good. Somebody still. He's you know, showing you like, like a And he did, he, they both did a beautiful job. They actually had a better light because, because we were shooting in the summer and then later in the year, the sun was much lower. Yeah, so sure, yeah. I was very envious of them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, the show is renewed for season two. So, uh, are you going to return for season two, or are you? No, well, we don't think so. I know Ridley's Ridley's kind of drawing some stuff. 
looking for directors and uh, I don't I wonder who's gonna shoot it I don't know because you know, I'm sure Eric's gonna be busy with David doing something and mm-hmm. maybe Ross is gonna take over yeah mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, sure, I'm sure I, because we're starting another project with Rit, so I'm sure I, I, I will know what's happening so I'll have maybe a bit of a say out there but, mm-hmm. but for me it was just very exciting to do television because I'm finding television way more exciting like you know my previous uh, uh, cameraman that you spoke to I mean it's amazing they're doing incredible work and I'm in big awe of what they're doing you know so I think the all this streaming has just opened a new avenue of expression and creativity yeah right. and the technology right now with all the like really good televisions and 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 uh, and those digital cameras you can just go so much further you know it's fantastic mm-hmm.